Okay, so after our last hookup, I was like, no more. No more empty sex, and I went on this whole like spiritual journey, you know, reading a lot of Eckhart Tolle and dealing with my pain body, really digging into my childhood and practicing celibacy and sitting with myself for the first time ever, maybe. And then while I was on tour with Beck, super nice guy, by the way, I noticed, well, I took five pregnancy tests in the Hollywood Bowl green room, which apparently happens all the time. And I found out I was pregnant. And you were the only person I'd been with that month because of the celibacy. Look, I thought about calling you. I picked up the phone over and over, but it just felt, I couldn't. You know, I just felt like it was my experience. It was happening to me. But then I felt him move inside me like a weird little sci-fi creature. And it's a person. It's a person who will have their own spiritual journey and their own feelings and a favorite album, no matter how many times I put Purple Rain on repeat. It's a person. And that person should have the right to know their dad. Can you hand me my phone? It's just on the counter. I just can't feel my legs. And I'm late. I need to call the station. And I just... I can't feel my legs or my face. And there's a weird buzzing sound. Do you hear that? <laughs> no. This is a lot. This is a lot.